You're still live on Breakfast Daily here on City TV. You know, oftentimes when I step out, people um, pass comments like, Charlie, you guys are City TV, you don't know how to play at all. Small thing, then you take it so personal, you take it to the next level. Yes, and that is because we are not here to joke. You know, and so at every given moment, with every event, with every program, we attach all seriousness to it. And that is because we respect our viewers and our listeners so much. And that is why this Easter, we are not taking it lying down. You saw what happened on City um, during the Heritage Month. Yes, and now we are zooming into Easter, you know, the whole of April has been declared as the seasons of prayer, and we are doing so much in terms of prayer. Now, Easter proper, Good Friday, we've told you what is going to be happening, and of course, on Resurrection Sunday, is even going to be amazing. We've already informed you that we have the Bethel Revival Choir coming in, and also Kofi Kakari. Now, if you followed his work, you know that this is the gentleman who will take you to heaven and back right in your room. We've been very privileged, you know, to be joined by Kofi Kakari. Hi, Kofi. Hi, Fema. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm well, thank you. You are so fine. I'm sure heaven, heaven is so <laughs> proud, you know, to have people like you. But but let me quickly find out from you, what does Easter mean to you, especially Resurrection Sunday? Victory. Mm. Victory. Mm. That's what it's, it represents. You yes. Know, um, Christ came, you know, lived, did all he did so we can walk and operate in victory. Mm -hmm. So from the, all walks of life in all corners of this world, we have been empowered, you know, by his resurrection to go out and be agents of change and live a victorious life. That's what, that's what it's all about. It's not Easter year, but the guy is preaching, <laughs> of course. But you are joining us on Easter Sunday. You know, how ready are you for this? We're very prepared. You mm -hmm. know, the thing is that um, there's a command that we're giving. And in, I think Psalm 150, the last verse, it says, let everything that has breath praise, praise the Lord. Lord. And what better time, what better time, mm -hmm. you know, to praise, what opportune time to praise that on Easter Resurrection mm -hmm. Sunday. And so I believe that um, myself, my team, we are ready. We join hands and hearts with the rest of the invited ministers. Mm -hmm. And I believe Ghana will be blessed Sunday morning. Absolutely. Now, you did, um, we bow down. Yes. and worship. Yes. You know, the first time I heard a Ghanaian did that song, I could <laughs> not believe it. You know, it doesn't sound like, um, I mean, with all respect to Ghanaian artists, but sometimes you hear certain songs, you know, and you feel like, oh, wow, it's a Ghanaian. Yes. You know, a song like um, Danny Nete's song, um, I've forgotten the song, but what the first time I heard it was Danny Nete. Um, I will worship you. Even yeah. yeah, you know, I was like, oh wow, it's a Ghanaian. Yes. It, I felt super excited yes. knowing it's a Ghanaian. For those who may not really know We Bow Down or also know the song, but I don't know that it is our very own <laughs> Kofi Kaka. You know, sometimes when the name is even English, then you are a bit lost. <laughs> but when it comes to, yeah, it's a, a certain Kofi Kaka. It's even more um, delightful. That's so just give us some kind of freestyle, okay, you know, sure. with so. We Bow Down. We bow down and worship Yahweh, 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 Yahweh. Super. <laughs> you know, can't you feel the anointing? <laughs> yeah. But you know, how, how do you prepare? Because there are certain gospel musicians, you know, when they come, they... they, they minister we dance to it we enjoy it but right after the performance performance is done and there are others too who come in you realize that this is not a performance this is a um, administration these guys are taking us to the throne room and even after the whole program set some things stays with you how do you prepare yourself towards events like these um, i believe that we are men who are sent mm -hmm. you know i believe that we see some of the things we see first of all by the grace of god and also because god sent us to places you know for specific reasons and so when you see any kind of atmosphere built or any kind of miracle take place it's not us it's god doing his own thing mm. um i realize that when you are sent god what was um, he augurs your steps he orders your steps mm. into prayer into the word sometimes into fasting mostly into fasting mm. you know so that you can be strategically sensitive to know what to do, you know, okay. at every point in time. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you go there and you carry out your own agenda, yeah. you know. And sometimes when people get carried away, they express in that way and manner, and then 
it becomes a show. Mm. But once you are, you stay prayed up, you stay active in the word, and you are sensitive in your spirit, you are able to articulate the mind of heaven for every given time. Mm. You know, so mm. I think that is what it takes for mm. every minister. And it's not just me, it cuts across. Um, all my fellow ministers across, but they know this. We pray, you know, we wait to hear what God is saying. Mm. And then when we are in the atmosphere, we also allow the Holy mm. Spirit to have his way. So that's what it takes. So have you started the fasting? <laughs> I will not oh, you're waiting small. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, so, well, I want to believe that um, we are just days away from Sunday. So, well, maybe he has started the fasting, but this is spiritual issues. You know, it has nothing to do with you. It's your, it's your God, it's your watching. He is prepping himself, you know, to be a blessing to all of us on Easter Sunday. But as you wait on the Lord, you know, for that powerful ministration on Easter Sunday, what I know that God is going to do His own thing. But from where you stand and the kind of preparation you are putting into this, what should we expect? A touch from heaven. Okay. I believe that everybody needs that every time. Mm -hmm. You need a touch from heaven. It is what gives us strength. It is what gives us guidance. It is what gives us hope. Mm -hmm. And so on Sunday, hope will come alive. On Sunday, I believe that um, victory, mm -hmm. you know, will visit us and will mm -hmm. come alive. We'll be, we'll be regurgitated in our mm -hmm. lives. If you feel discouraged, if you feel down, know that Sunday resurrection um, Easter Resurrection Sunday, your yeah. life will be touched and victory will be yours. You will be galvanized into living, you know, in peace, prosperity, and joy. Absolutely. And, and what else do we want? Peace, prosperity, and joy. Kofi, you know, people, I don't know if you get this, your surname, ah. the spelling. <laughs> I get a lot of people say Kofi Kari Kari, yes, you know. Yes, do you, do, you, do you get it? Yes. I, I, you know, in Ghana, we say Kakari. Uh -huh. But... I don't mind if you say Kari Kari because it's, you can literally see K-A-R-I, K-A-R-I. Yeah. I hear originally it yeah. was spelled K-A-R-K-A-R-I. Okay. So I don't know so how. So who brother to, I, I there? Is it your dad? I don't know. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure we came to meet that, yes. But I think mm. Kari Kari is fine. Kakari is fine. Whichever yeah. way. Yeah. So if you're Ghanaian, you know, if you're non-Ghanaian, you can be spared. But if you are one of us, I beg you, say it and say it well. Because <laughs> apart from everything, it's a brand, you know, and we are promoting the brand. Let's just not confuse it. So please pronounce your name to people. Uh, okay, so my name is Kofi Kakari. Okay. Have you heard? <laughs> okay, so wherever you are, pronounce after us. <laughs> Kofi Kakari. Don't say Kofi Kari Kari, okay? Now you're Rooney. All right, Kofi, thank you very much it's for your time. Thanks. We wish you all the best. In fact, we are also very much prepped waiting for you on Easter Sunday. Awesome. Thank you very much for accepting thank to be part me. of this. Awesome.